Since the late 1960s, Perkins has been a committed partner in his relationship with the Hispanic community. It started as a conversation about how to develop a presence in the Rio Grande Conference, a transregional body of Spanish-speaking United Methodist churches that was particularly situated in the Southwest United States, in Texas and New Mexico. Those talks led to the formation, in 1974, of the Mexican-American program at Perkins. With Executive Director Roy Barton at the helm, the MAP program prepared church leaders with the knowledge and skills for effective ministry in Spanish-speaking and bilingual contexts and cultures. This included developing curricula, administering the Spanish course of study school and licensing school, publishing apuntes, an academic journal providing theological reflection from a Hispanic perspective, and implementing the United Methodist Church's National Plan for Hispanic Ministries. The success of the MAP program positioned the school as a pivotal leader in Hispanic theological education. What followed in 1995 was the development of the Roy Barton Lectureship to disseminate knowledge of Hispanic Latina theology and ministry for the benefit of the academy, the church, and the wider public, as well as the formation of the school's Center for the Study of Latino, a Christianity and Religions, which supported the publication of 12 books and brought top-notch Hispanic scholars to Perkins. To this day, Perkins remains committed to recruiting, preparing, and providing continuing education for people in ministry with Hispanics and Latinos. Part of that commitment has been a reimagination of the Hispanic Ministry Education Initiative at Perkins that has brought together bishops, students, Hispanic leaders, and the General Secretary of the UMC's General Board of Higher Education and Ministry. Most importantly, it all started with one word in mind, home. Home is very important in a Hispanic community. That's where we fight and when we uh, care for one another and we eat together. So those kinds of things are very intimate. And so we want to uh, help Perkins to understand those dynamics and to be uh, part of who we are. And a proposed name for this venture is CASA, which stands for Centro de Acompañamiento, Solidaridad y Adiestramiento. The foundation of this new initiative is a certificate program that will target pastors already in ministry that had very little connection to a formal theological location. Our students will benefit from learning from experienced leaders and seeing people inside the academy and beyond, working in the trenches and pastoring. We are there to accompany persons, to help them in their training, and to be in solidarity with them. So that's, we're expressing this. Uh, it is a common, say, a common saying uh, in Spanish is mi casa es su casa, my home is your home. So we want to extend this kind of a hospitality and reciprocal learning between students, faculty, and pastors in the area so we can come together in a, in a, in a home kind of a way and learn from one another. <laughs>